Hey YouTube, what's up? This is Nate here with Nate's Tech Update. And in this video, I'm going to be demonstrating one of the great features coming with iCloud this fall, which is Backup and Restore. Now this feature has been made available to developers since iOS 5 Beta 2, but I've held, up on, held off until this point because I wanted to use my MobileMe account, which up until last week I was not able to merge with iCloud. So with that as an introduction, let's get started by clicking on Settings. You can open up my iCloud account. Scroll to the bottom. There's a feature called Storage and Backup here. We'll click on that. And you'll notice there's a toggle here to enable the iCloud backup feature. Now, backups will automatically be made whenever your device is, uh, the screen is locked, it's plugged into a charger or a computer, and the device is connected to a Wi-Fi network. Now, this will be a great feature for me because I always charge my device at night, so backups will automatically be made for me without me even having to think about it. You can also make up backups manually by pressing this button here, and you'll notice the backup process has begun down there at the bottom. So what is this backup? Well, pretty much everything that you would want uh, your normal iTunes backup to include. So you've got important things such as your text messages, your photos, your emails, and all important things like that. It'll also remember important settings that you had, such as your uh, location services were on and your battery percentage. It'll even remember that I had uh, the iPhone download blog open here in Safari. So that'll load up again uh, in the backup. But what it does differently than iTunes with your all your media from um, like your applications and your videos and your music, it doesn't back up all those items because that would make your backup huge and take forever to actually use. What it does is creates a list of those items so that when you restore from the backup, all those items will begin downloading immediately. So I'll be able to show you uh, how that works as soon as I restore my device here with iTunes. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the camera. Alright, so I finished restoring my device with iTunes and we're here at the personal setup. So eventually when going through the personal setup process, you will reach this screen here, which will allow me to restore from an iCloud backup. So we'll click next. Let me enter my account info real quick. We'll click next. We'll agree to the uh, terms and conditions. And it's going to go ahead and set up my Apple ID, so this might take a few months. Okay, so it looks like it's going to pull up my backups here. You'll notice the latest one that I made was at 11.10 a.m. And it is currently about 11.15. So let's go ahead and restore from that. And it's going to go ahead and restore these settings. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the camera and we'll take a look at this when it's done. Alright, so this process has finished up and my device is rebooting. We should be hitting the lock screen any second now. And there it is. So we'll go ahead and slide to unlock. And you'll see this message has popped up here telling me basically what I told you earlier, um, that my settings have been restored, but all my purchased apps and media are going to now be downloaded over again. So if you take a look here, you'll see that all the arrangement of all my apps and my folders have stayed the same. Um, I do have location services and battery percentage enabled here. I think I have like one photo here in my photo application for my camera roll. There that is, so that's still there. Um, if we go ahead and take a look at Safari, we'll see if the iPhone download blog loads up. And as you can see, it's loading up right now. So I'm not going to wait for that to finish, but it did work. Um, if we scroll over here, you'll notice that all my apps have begun downloading over again. So this is great though, because in iOS 5, all these apps can download at the same time, while in iOS 4, each app could only be downloaded and, downloaded and installed one at a time. So this has been a look at the backup and restore feature here in iCloud. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I really appreciate it. Please like it, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.